The following represents a random sample of the number of shoes owned by 36 men. Construct a 90% confidence interval for the mean number of shoes owned by all men. Generally, when the sample size is more than 30, we would select the normal or Z distribution to approach such a problem. However, when the data are given in a list, and if that list is more than 30, we will instead use the T distribution. And since we want a 90% confidence interval, we will look at the T interval. So going to the stat button and then to the test menu and scrolling down the list until the Z interval number seven is at the top of the list, we see that number eight is the T interval. We'll select number eight and under the T interval, we see that the input can be either in the form of a data list or we could have the input in form of summary statistics. In this particular case, we'll be putting the data into a list on our calculator. So I'll go to the stat enter key and I put the 36 pieces of data all into list one. Notice that in the original data, there were six columns of data, but all of the six columns of data go into one column, list one. After checking to see that the numbers are put in correctly, remember garbage in, garbage out, we'll go back to the stat button, test menu. And since we know that the number eight is the T interval, we'll select number eight. Checking to make sure that the data is coming from list one and the frequency is one. If the frequency is blank, you can't just click on the number one key because we notice that there is the letter A inside the cursor telling us we are in alpha mode so that pressing the number one will result in the letter Y. So clicking the alpha key to turn alpha off and then the number one, we're able to put in the frequency of one, which tells the calculator to just simply use list one one time. The confidence level is 90%. And here we can put in 90 or 0 0.90. And when we click calculate, we see a little busy signal and then we'll see the interval. How to interpret this interval has to make sense in terms of the original problem. It wouldn't make much sense to say that all men own between 5.2 and 7.1 pairs of shoes simply because you either have one pair of shoes or two pair of shoes, the interval should be in terms of counting numbers so that our confidence interval would make most sense by having the parentheses five comma seven in parentheses or writing this in terms of margin of error notation. We have six plus or minus one. That is the 90% confidence interval for the average number of shoes owned by all men is six pairs of shoes, give or take one pair of shoes.